Recently, in our travels around the world, we started training at various gyms and fitness centers and started noticing a pattern. We noticed how much importance and stress is placed on the need for supplements and how without these, one cannot be healthy or attain one's fitness goals, whether that's building a strong athletic body or trimming down on fat and losing weight. Well, here's something crazy for you guys. We didn't even know about the existence of most of these products to begin with. And I can say for certain that my brother and I, we aren't the most unhealthy or out of shape looking individuals and we have never indulged in consuming any of these supplements. Most of our strength and muscle gains have actually come about from a natural organic vegetarian diet alongside a consistent and science-based training program centered around body weight calisthenics. So for those that have ever wondered about investing in or trying out these supplements, take it from us. It's a waste of your time and money. The only useful supplement we would recommend, especially for vegetarians and vegans, is a plant-based protein or whey protein. The reason being that us vegetarians don't get enough protein in our diets to begin with. Well, let me correct that. We can, just by legumes and beans and nuts. However, to get that amount of protein into your system by them alone, would mean you would literally have to intake quadruple the amount of food volume that you're currently eating. Therefore, definitely look into and invest in a high quality protein source, especially for those that are training hard and regularly. Natural? Natural or steroids? No, two, two. Steroids? No, it's 2018. This is what happens to your hands when you come to the gym with Ananda and Yogi. Oh yeah! You're working to the limit. <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> My boy. Looking good. Oh yeah. Get jacked, sons. Work hard. <laughs> Training in the gym is linear. If you want to make progress, add more weight to your lifts every week and you will naturally be increasing the amount of work your muscles are undergoing. But how does that apply with body weight training? We cannot really reduce or increase our own body weight to make it more or less challenging. And how many pull-ups or push-ups do we do before it seeps over into endurance training? Well, here's the thing guys, it's actually relative to your build and your current strength and performance level. Say for our friend Goloka here, he reaches muscular failure at about 12 reps on this specific exercise and I reach muscular failure at around 15 reps. The reason being, I'm stronger at this specific movement, so it takes me longer to reach close to muscular failure, whereas it's the perfect intensity for Goloka. And he only needs to perform 12 reps to reach that point of failure, and that's what we're aiming for, intensity. Overloading the muscle through applying mechanical tension to reach that point of muscular failure. Scientific research has shown that stopping a movement anywhere between 0 to 2 reps close to muscular failure will induce muscle hypertrophy. But again, you are the only one that knows what is the right intensity for you. No one can tell you that. It has to feel challenging for you. Each workout should feel as if you're stepping out of your comfort zone and giving a little bit more during each session. With people, work out with people, you get motivation on your own. Like you lose, sometimes you lose motivation after some time. Yeah. When you work out with people that are motivated, you become motivated. Absolutely. You share ideas. It's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. That's why you need a training partner or a trainer. You know. Beautiful. Go heavy. Go heavy on this one. Flood your rear back and delts. Now, reps is definitely a sure way to measure progress, especially in bodyweight training. However, in our own personal experience and in training our clients, we've noticed that the sweet spot is generally around 8 to 15 repetitions. So you'll want to start off at 8 repetitions of a given movement, and the aim is to get to 15 clean, slow, and controlled reps of that specific exercise you are working on. And now here's the clue. After 15 repetitions, what do you do? You'll want to increase the intensity. Once you can do 3 sets of 15 repetitions, you'll want to take it to the next level, pushing yourself a little harder. Again, each workout session has got to start with, how can I step out of my comfort zone? If you get this mindset, take it from us, you'll become unstoppable. 
Calisthenics is all about changing the exercises and adapting them in a way to your current level of performance. One simple way to do that is by simply changing the lever or the angle of the body. Another way to make exercises more challenging is unilateral training. You're only using one arm, leg or one side of the body. Of course, to get to that level will require progressions in the basics as showed. Nice. Now, there are also ways to make an exercise easier. You'll want to focus on strengthening the eccentric motion or the negative part of the lift, and that will help you progress to the next variation of the movement. These are known as the regressions. Okay, so what we're talking about is intensity. In the gym, the intensity is made by weight. So at home, you gotta get creative, and this is where it gets fun. So we just showed you a whole different style of progress here. We started with a decline push-up normal. Then what did we do? We added some tension. How? How did the intensity increase? By holding, by going left, right, adding a backpack. So this is like, this is in calisthenics, we call it changing the lever or the angle. So our angle, if it's straight, right? What the push-ups? The intensity is okay. Explosive, increase. Now, get on a chair, increase. So now you can see that gravity is working more on my body. Right. I have to work harder to push up. Similarly, when you're doing a handstand, push up. Now your entire weight is on your upper body. So the intensity is increased. So there's so many different ways to increase intensity. All right, guys, time for our midnight workout. Traveling, kirtan, work, and what time, mid time, workout. If you want to be serious, man, get back, back. Oh, wow. He's getting that explosive action in there. Oh, I'm getting too good at the pull up. What do I do? Explosive. I guess too easy. Big gravity. Nice. There's always ways to progress. Make things harder. Change the lever. Make it fun. Be creative. It's about getting it. Woo! I gotta have fun. Beast. Holy shit. Holding it, holding it. <laughs> How about come down? Don't worry about don't worry about coming down, just stay up, bro. Six. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> Wait for three months. He's gonna be a calisthenics pro, bro. <laughs> How do you feel being a calisthenics athlete? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm a calisthenics athlete, but I'm with calisthenics athletes. I feel pumped. Absolutely pumped. Absolutely pumped. I feel like, yeah. I feel like their last bit of energy is gone. Just to burn it off, climb the rope, innit? Oh my god, look at that. After a two hour workout, he's still looking. <laughs> That's stamina right there, bro. Come on, all the way to the top. Come down slowly. Come down slowly. Come down slowly. That's death. Oh, yeah, getting it. This tricep is one of our favorites, guys. Because you really, you burn out your biceps, flood them out from all directions, all angles. Beast. Look at that. That's intense. Bro. Yeah. There you go. It's scientific, guys. You gotta do specific exercises in specific sequences. Otherwise, you don't get results in it. Oh my god, look at that. 
Come on, 13. Guys, come, 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 come. we don't have us as, as your trainers yet. I don't know what you got. Ah, Look at that. Ah. All natural, man. Vegetarians and Hare Krishnas. Expose your weak points. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that back, man. Freaking shredded beast. All right, guys, remember firstly, no need for unnecessary supplements. Just invest in a good quality whey or vegan protein. All right. Secondly, you aren't dependent on weight alone to increase the intensity of your workouts. Get creative. And thirdly, focus more on having fun and getting stronger progressively rather than the aesthetics. They will automatically follow. You all look like freaking Gajini, man. Look at that. Back, oh, yeah. oh. Check it out, guys. Even they know the motto of this whole thing. Have fun. Where? Go for it guys, stay motivated, take care of this vehicle, it's God's gift. And if you need any training tips or personal training, feel free to contact us. Stay strong, serve on, Bhakti Bro, salute.